Without even learning how to use the camera, there are certain artistic techniques that if you use them will greatly improve your photos. Foreground is one of those techniques. Most people when taking a photo stand upright with the camera right in front of their face. They put the subject in the middle and take the picture. The picture is good. It's in focus, has the correct exposure, but it looks like a 2D snapshot. Compare that photo with a picture where the foreground is cleverly used and the picture seems more artistic, well thought out, and you can almost use the word professional. Using the foreground is like creating a picture within a picture. When you combine a strong subject with a well thought out, flowing, colorful, textured foreground, the picture becomes even more alive, more artistic. Using your foreground is very, very important in photography. Here are a few tips when using the foreground in your photos. Use the camera to control the exposure for the background, but use your flash to control the right amount of light in the foreground. Second, get down as low to the foreground as you can. Put the camera as close to anything that looks like it could enhance your photo. To make sure your foreground is in focus, don't use the zoom on your lens. Use the smallest f-stop like f22 and focus on the foreground rather than on the background. Even though it will not look like your background is in focus in the viewfinder, when you get the photo onto your computer it will. Last, the sky is the limit when choosing a foreground in the photo. Don't think it always has to be flowers, grass or trees. Anything can be used. The question to ask yourself is, what is the best foreground in this situation? Well, that's it for this video. Have fun and keep shooting.